Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be doing a comparison of three NIV Bibles from R.L. Allen, the NIV 1, the NIV R1, and the NIV Proclamation. Okay, I've got a fun comparison video for us today. Three NIV Bibles from R.L. Allen. Now, you're probably most familiar, if you are familiar at all with these Bibles, with the NIV one, this one on top, slightly smaller. It's a Bible that Allen continues to have in print. As I'm recording this right now, they have a couple of different versions of this on their website for sale. These two on the bottom, the R1 and the NIV Proclamation, have not been produced by Allen in several years. They're, they're out of print right now, but there's been some hints that Alan wants to bring these back, either the R1, the Proclamation, or both, which I would definitely love to see that. They're really cool Bibles. So I thought while I had a copy of all three of these, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison to show you the differences. They're, they're, they're very similar in a lot of ways, these three Bibles, but they have some key differences that make each one of them very unique. So I thought I'd do an overhead now, show you the side-by-side. -side. It's just a kind of a fun video for all of you Alan fans out there, or those of you who are curious about the difference in some of these Allen Bibles. So before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the NIV 1, the NIV R1, and the NIV Proclamation. Okay, here they are side-by-side. -side. Let's start with the NIV 1 because this is probably the one that everyone will be most familiar with. So there you see Holy Bible, NIV, Allen, tooled ribs on the spine, really nice lovely piece of New Zealand goatskin. So the NIV 1 it says right here, goat skin. That's New Zealand goat skin. And then you're going to notice in the back, it says Allen binding by Ludlow. So Ludlow is one of the binderies in England, England they use, and they use the New, New Zealand goat skin. So this is a slightly, obviously the biggest difference you're going to notice, slightly smaller Bible, five and a quarter inches, eight and a quarter inches, and it's about an inch and a half thick. So five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I would call that a mid-sized Bible, slightly thicker, really, really lovely binding by Ludlow, kind of that classic traditional Allen style. This red one comes with blue ribbons, red leather liner, it's very, very soft. It's, it's a slightly thicker, this New Zealand is a slightly thicker, but very soft. You know, you can kind of, I don't want to crumple this too much up because it's not lined, but very, very soft and floppy piece of goat skin. Looks really nice. I think Ludlow does maybe Allen's best art gilding, the art gilded page edges with those cascading signatures that you can kind of see the stair steps coming down there. Really, really beautiful. Now, this Bible, based on the size and then on the inside of it, we go, go in here, you're going to see the blank sheets, presentation pages, Alan's presentation pages, and then we're going get to get in here and you're going to see published by Hodder and Stoughton. So this is a text block from Hodder and Stoughton, which is the UK's publisher of the NIV. Get in here to the copyright page. You're going to see Holy Bible, NIV, Anglicized Edition, published by, in Great Britain, 1979, Hodder and Sutton, yada, yada, yada. Down here, it's going to tell us it's designed by Mark Thompson in London. The initial typesetting was Blue Heron Bookcraft in Washington, printed in China by CT, CTPS. So this is a Chinese text block that Alan has sourced from Hodder and Stodden. I, this is a 36 GSM paper, and it's a really nice two-column text block. Center column Crawford's references. I love this faint little dotted line in here. Looks really nice. So center column cross references. The NIV one has a nine point typeface. Really easy to read. Looks nice. Textual footnotes at the bottom of each column. There's your headers up there. I mean, just a very, very nice straightforward reference Bible. There you can kind of see the cascading signatures when I hold it like this, the little stair steps. You see that? That is so nice. Um, straightforward. At the back of the Bible, you get <clears throat> a concordance. I'm oh, sorry, you get the Bible guide, which is basically book introductions, like short book introductions at the end of Revelation. Little Bible guide. So it just gives you like a little quick paragraph, paragraph about each book of the Bible. Then you get a concordance, two column concordance. And then you get full bleed Bible maps. And then Alan adds in their lined notebook paper. So pretty straightforward, beautiful little Bible. Now, I'm going to set the proclamation aside real quick. The R1 
is the exact same Bible on the inside as far as opening this up, you see the hotter text block right here, first publicized, printed in China by CTPS. It's just bigger. I think it's slightly different paper. This is a third, from everything I could tell on Alan's website, this was a 35 GSM paper. Again, this one is not in print anymore. And this one is, I'm going to show you the outside in a second. I think the paper is a little bit creamier, whereas this one is a little bit wider. Um, but the, the biggest difference is going to be between these two Bibles, the size of the text block. So the NIV R1 is six and a quarter, where this one's five and a quarter, and it's nine and a quarter, where this one's eight and a quarter. So it's literally an inch bigger all the way around, but it's still right at an inch and a half thick because it actually looks slightly thinner, doesn't it? That might be because it's that 35 GSM paper versus the um, 36 GSM paper on the NIV one. But then at the end of the Bible, you notice, you get to the end of Revelation, you get the Bible guide, you get the concordance, you get the full bead Bible maps, and you get the line notebook paper. It's the exact same Bible. So right here, I'm on Job chapter 41, page 541. So if I go to this Bible and go to page 541, you guessed it, it's going to be Job chapter 41. One more page, boom. Identical layout, typesetting, page numbers. It's literally just a bigger Bible, but it's not exactly the same because it wasn't bound by Ludlow. This one was bound by Chant, which is a bindery that Alan no longer works with. It's got uh, new, not New Zealand, but Highland goatskin. See there you say Highland goatskin. These Chant bindings, this is, people talk about Chant and how much they love it and how they wish Alan would go back there. This is the softest, floppiest Bible I have ever had from R.L. Allen. It's a really, it's a much thinner piece of goatskin. It's not nearly as thick as this one over here. And it just, it's super soft and floppy. This Bible lays extremely flat. It still has those kind of cascading signatures, but it's just a different type of goatskin. Same, similar premium quality. It's got the tooled ribs, new international version, Allen's. So you see, the, the NIV-1 is just a smaller version of the R1. I love the size of the R1. It kind of fits in with all of the other Allen readers, like the ESV reader, the NASB reader, that sort of thing. But it's not premium French paper from Royal Youngblood, like printed in Royal Youngblood. It's, it's a Chinese text block, but... One of the catches here is that it's, a, it's I think it's, I read online that it was like an Italian paper or something like that. Um, maybe it's from Spain. It was Spanish paper that's still really nice. And a lot of people have seen this over the years and said it's sneaky good quality. So this one feels like it's definitely kind of a really great paper, slightly bigger version. Okay, so that's the R1 versus the NIV1. And then we bring in the Proclamation. The Proclamation also last printed and bound um, last bound by chant, so it's no longer in print. New International Version Proclamation Edition. You see it's just same size on the trim size as the um, R1, but it's slightly thicker. I'm going to show you why in a second. This also shows you kind of the difference between both of these are Highland goat skins. And look how much this is much more pebbly or pebbly or that's not a word. It's got a much more pebbled grain to it on the left than this one on the right. Just differences in goat skin. The NIV Proclamation, this one's a little bit older and beat up. You see there used to be someone's name on it, and it was taken out there. I can't even say, see what it says anymore. But very, very similar look and feel to the other ones. Highland goat skin, also bound by Chant. Really, you know it's a Chant binding because it just says Allen binding on the inside. The other ones will say Ludlow or Royal Youngblood or Charfleet. Um, this Bible is slightly different. Now you're going to notice similar text block. Similar on the inside, so if I hold this open next to, set the NIV one side, if I hope hold this open next to the R1, just get into the book of Isaiah so you can kind of see, not even the same pages, it's the same setup, it's the same typesetting. This Bible is the same uh, page sizes as this one, so it's six and a quarter by nine and a quarter, but you see it has a bigger margin all the way around. So this one, basically, the text has been shrunk down a little bit. So whereas you had a nine-point typeface on the NIV one, you had a 10-point typeface on the R1, you have a 9.3 typeface 
on the NIV proclamation. So it's slightly smaller than what you get over here on the NIV R1, but it has these margins all the way out around the outside. Also, if I go to, so I'm on Isaiah, uh, let's see, I'm doing 26 on this page. If I find Isaiah 26 in the proclamation, you're going to notice that the page numbers do not line up. Well, why is that, Tim? Why don't the page numbers line up? So over here, there is the exact same layout, right? 26 is on page 758. It's on 710. So this is 48 pages longer. Well, that's because the proclamation, by definition, the proclamation Bible is a type of study Bible that's kind of designed for those who preach and things like that. So I'm going to get in here. NIV Proclamation Bible. Here's the copyright page. NIV Proclamation Bible. This is designed by Hodder and Stoughton, that NIV uh, publisher in the UK, also by CTPS in China, but it has all of this additional content, contents. There are, um, sorry, let me get this centered for you. There are uh, articles about the reliability of the Bible, the melodic bind. It's, it's kind of theming towards teaching the Bible from text to life, from text to sermon, that sort of stuff. All of these articles and resources that are kind of, a lot of that is right here at the beginning of the Bible. So here's a list of all the people who participated in this and added to it. And then you get what is the Bible. So these articles right up front. All of this is happening before the actual text of scripture. So theoretically, if they started on the same page, they'd still be the same page numbers. But then when you get into the inside of the Bible, you also get a uh, section introduction. So here's an introduction to the Pentateuch and you get book introductions. So after the Pentateuch, you get an introduction to Genesis. These are, that's like, that's page four. So because you're getting different section introductions and different book introductions, the page numbers are off from the R1 and the NIV one. Sometimes, like when I showed you a second ago, it's still the same uh, like chapter 26 was on the left page on this Bible. Sometimes even that gets off where like this page will be on the right side of the page on the proclamation because it has these additional features that are kind of made to help you study, prepare, teach the Bible, understand what you're reading. It's not a full-on study Bible. I think of it more as like a an assist assistance Bible for people who are preaching. So here's the sex and introduction to the wisdom literature. Really, really great Bibles. I love the resources in this Bible. I have actually found... Zondervan took this. So here's Zondervan's hardcover edition to the Proclamation Bible. If you open this up, you'll see on the inside of it that it says, published by Zondervan, Proclamation Edition, Introductory Essays, Section Introductions, and Introduction to Bible Books, copy, copyright Hodder and Stoughton, 2013. So they basically, Zondervan, the publisher of the NIV in the U.S., took all of those essays and the material that make the Proclamation Bible unique they put it in their own version of the NIV, of an NIV reference Bible. So it's a totally, totally different look and feel on the inside, but it's still essentially an NIV reference Bible, but it has all of the proclamation notes and things like that, book introductions inside of it. I really like this as like a desk Bible for when I want to study or prepare a sermon. So, okay, this is getting really long. I'm trying to compare three Bibles. I'm going to put this back on the side. So just kind of do a quick recap here. So you have the NIV one in the center, slightly smaller, five and a quarter by eight and a quarter, 36 GSM paper, a nine point typeface on the inside. It's identical older sibling is the R1. It's an inch bigger on both sides, slightly different paper. It's no longer in print, but everything about this Bible on the inside is the same pagination as the NIV one. So they're very similar. It's just a little bit bigger. And then the proclamation same type setting as these Bibles, but you get a slightly kind of in between nine point font, 10 point font. This is 9.3 with slightly larger margins. And then you get all of those additional essays and things that make the proclamation edition so unique. One of the cool things about this Bible is that the proclamation Bible for Hodder and Stoughton, Ian, who I, I don't know if he owns or is works at um, RL Allen. I think he's the caretaker of the Allen brand now. I think it's part of his family. He worked on this Bible, the Proclamation Edition, when it was being developed by Hodder and Stoughton, working in that publishing world. And then at Allen, he produced this Bible. So he took something that he worked on at another company, made an Allen version of it that's like super, super premium and beautiful. They made this in several different colors. So that's kind of a cool connection point between the Proclamation Bible and the, the Allen family, so to speak. But again, NIV 1, NIV R1, NIV Proclamation, all three Bibles, lots of similarities, but a few key differences.
So there you have it, an R.L. Allen NIV Bible comparison. I want to know from you. Leave a comment. Let me know which one of these you like best and why. Is it the NIV 1, the NIV R1, or the NIV Proclamation? If I had to pick one of these myself, I really like the size of the NIV 1, but this, in particular, this copy that I have of the R1 is very special. It's a fantastic Bible, slightly larger scale. I like this Bible a whole lot. Also, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments, and I will get back to you with an answer. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video to R.L. Allen's website, their official site where you can buy these Bibles. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community on social media, and we would love for you to come be a part of it with us. Once again, before we go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for me. i got a lot of other videos just like this one, so surf around, check out my channel for unboxing videos, reviews, comparison videos, all of that. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.